Hey all, this is Coda. So I think I'm going to be doing a series on Tharsis, um, adding that to the rotation of Visible Ink. This one I'll actually follow through with, unlike Feria, which didn't actually have the limited drafting mode that I was hoping to have when I purchased it, when I had comparisons to Hearthstone. In any case, Tharsis, the weird thing about Tharsis is, um, well, first off, Tharsis is a um, FTL-like game, rogue-like game. Has um, you have a crew, and your crew will be on a mission to reach Mars. Um, the missions themselves will be like ten turns, where each turn you have to deal with some new disaster on your ship. Um, there's a lot of turn-based. Uh, tactical strategy involved um, and you have die that will that you'll use to manage the events that occur um, the weird thing about Tharsis is it's not very popular and well I wouldn't say it's the weird thing it, it's not very popular in terms of the reviews it gets mainly because people don't get success with it and also mainly because of I think the the setting, the things that you have to do in order to win. Basically, it has cannibalism in there. <laughs> and cannibalism is just a <clears throat> a choice that you can make to um, to ensure that your mission is successful. <laughs> Basically killing off one of your crew. So there's just some dark tones to it. That being said, uh, it's really weird that it does have such mixed reviews. Um, I think the underlying gameplay is actually pretty good as long as you're willing to deal with some of the difficulties with the random uh, randomness of the uh, gameplay. That being said, uh, even though it's known to be difficult, um, you can generally mitigate the risk with proper risk management. Um, So for me, I've played like 16 games and I've won 11, which is, I think, a reasonable win percentage, right? Like 70% win. It's actually less than I would get uh, on Invisible Ink, but um, much more than I would get on FTL, for instance. So let's go ahead and start this off. I'll do a new game and I'll go through kind of... Uh, the steps. So I'll just use my default characters here. There's a doctor, specialist, a mechanic, and a captain. They all have special abilities and we'll get to each of them in a second. The missions themselves generally last like one game through. Uh, yeah, so mission <clears throat> ship is starting to explode right now. So up here you see what turn you're on. This is turn one. Uh, this is right here your ship's health, so it has three health. The red is how much damage that you're going to take um, within this upcoming turn if you don't solve the events that are occurring. Um, you have some food and some assists. Um, food is generally used to gain more um, abilities for your characters. Basically, if you see each character on the right hand side is their health so four out of six two out of six they all kind of start at random statuses on the left hand side is a stress meter <clears throat> if you think about if you play darkest dungeon this is basically how <clears throat> sane or or stressed out they are um, as it reaches higher uh, worse of things can happen to them during one of the event one of the phases of the turn. Uh, basically, after you resolve events, um, kind of like at the end of a of a of a run in Darkest Dungeon, you you kind of get options or you kind of get resulting um, quirk or um, quirk, right? So, anyways, the stress meter affects one of the phases and the in white which is kind of the most important thing is um 
the die meter. So basically, when you're helping to resolve these events, you need to have you need to roll die, and um, to roll the die, you have as many dies as you have here. You can bump up the number of dies by getting food. Also, by going to one of these, uh, the ship has these has one, two, three. It has basically seven modules, and you can get. There's each module does something different, and for the life support module, you can regain some die. Um, the weird thing is actually once you go to event, go to a module and do your, uh, you can move the characters around to the modules to to resolve events. But once you do, when you roll your die, you actually lose a die. So you have to maintain more food, which gives you three die, or um, go to life support and regain die. Actually, the captain also has a special ability to gain more die. Down here is the research. Um, oh, let's, let's just go through these. Um, so the captain regains die in the module. So I want him to go to a module that has as many people as possible. And that probably means I want him to go at the end so now I'm right now I'm considering using mechanic the specialist or the doctor and also um, when you move through the ship if you move past if you move past a if she moves from here to here and she moves past an unresolved uh, event then she actually loses the health so she can move here and not take a health loss or she can move here so generally you have to kind of it's very very tactical in terms of like ordering of events um and if you screw up the ordering you, you really could lose a lot of power in terms of what you can do it's um it's kind of like if in an invisible ink i really really need to care about <clears throat> the exact positioning of all my characters and which character moved first, which character moved second, because all that really matters in this game. Um, the doctor also has the ability to heal the people in the module, so generally you want, want to move the mechanic and specialist first. Here's the thing. Um, you also need to think about your... It's good in this game to have a, have a fairly good decent understanding of probability and the math behind die rolling. So for instance, I have two die on the mechanic. If I get into here, I wouldn't expect to resolve the event because he would have to roll a five and a six on the die or a six, six, which is pretty unlikely for a two die roll. <clears throat> also, there's an, uh, this, the blue, um, the two blue and the three blue here means that if I roll a two or three, I'm stuck with it. Normally, you can re-roll your die once. Um, I do have a duct tape, so realistically, I could I could have the doctor be able to resolve this event. Four die for eleven is reasonable. All right, so I'm going to deploy the doctor here. Roll the die. Okay, well, this wasn't great. Um, I got too stuck. But that being the case, I can put these three, five, three, three, and repair it. Yeah. And since I'm in the life support module, I can use, I can put this uh, extra die that I have in the regain die and dice and regain basically two dice. Um, I could also, if I had rolled a 5 or 6, I could put this in the special ability for the doctor and she regains one health. Generally, you want to maximize your dice as possible, as much as possible. This other slot means that I need to, I can put in a pair of dice, like another 2 and regain another 2 dice, but obviously that's unnecessary. If I find that I didn't need any of these dice in like the special ability, the module, or the class ability, I could also put them in this 
uh, bottom hand corner with research projects um, and basically store up they have various abilities and you can use them um, use their abilities so I'll probably try to yeah I'll probably try to go for one of these research projects before the end of the turn all right so here I have a mechanic uh, a captain and a specialist to resolve this issue right here. This issue is also, if I don't get to resolve this turn, it's going to actually, um, it's going to actually deal one health to all my characters and it'll bring me pretty low. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first start off with uh, the mechanic. Roll his two dice. Darn, that, that's really high rolls. Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. So now it's only at 16. Um, so I could roll the specialists here. She'd have one dice. She wouldn't, when she rolls, if you roll um, with someone just with just one die, they, they will stay with one dice after even after the roll. I could also move my captain here Hope to. I could move my captain here, and try to give her an extra dice by his special ability. Um, is there? Is that any good? Is that any good? She rolls one time, or so I'm basically trading off one die. I'm thinking it would better be it would better be for me to roll one here, and then the captain comes after. Two one. I don't think I'm going to be able to resolve this this turn. Sucks. All right, let's. It might have been that I screwed up there. I might have wanted the specialist to move first, but oh well. I'm definitely going to try to use one dice to give this thing over here. So this is. 13 as well. It's actually really close to resolving this. Um, 4 is actually above average, so I'm going to keep the 4. I could actually resolve this thing right now by using 2 and using the repair module. And that'd be 13. So the question is kind of, uh, hmm, this is actually kind of tough. This basically means I'm losing, I'm not getting three dice back. Getting three dice back is on this turn is actually pretty darn important. It's possibly even more important than the extra health on the first turn, getting three back. Yeah, I'm gonna try to roll a five or six on this one. Okay, a four. Again, this would be four, four. Four, four, eight. I could resolve this. I'd lose a dice. I would lose the dice though. I think this might be worth it though. <clears throat> mm. So is it worth it to lose the dice but still be able to... No, I'll try to resolve this. Right? That's 
I don't know. I'll, I'll, this, I don't want him to die, so. Alright, so this is the event phase between, um, the phase between the event phase where, uh, depending on your stress level, you have two options. One's a positive option, then for each option, there's a positive effect and a negative effect depending on the uh, stress. So in this case, I have minus one die for us, which actually is not um, not negative because it, they're only at one. One dice to all crew, so this is going to be strictly a worse, a strictly a worse um, effect. But here, this will give me 10% 10, 10 more stress. So this is actually fine. And I gain additional uh, health to everyone. Although using this one, I get a food. So using this one, I get, I lose a net of two dice and gain three dice. So, um, so I can go, so this is a net of positive one dice, one die, all right. Um, so this is net gain one die, this, so would I rather have one die or heal everyone by one? Actually, this thing might be better. Gaining one one die might be worth it. Uh, the last last turn, it was like losing one health, but also the re event wasn't resolved. So this is okay. Going being at one dice is really brutally bad. So um, this is kind of like in Invisible Ink that you need to try and maximize your first missions and get as much power as you can. So I'm going to give my captain more and my specialist more. Specialist more. All right, this is actually pretty awesome right here. Um, I'm gonna have my captain probably do this one first. Hopefully, I'm hoping that I can roll something such that I can give dice to both these guys. So it'd be, yeah. So this is gonna be first deployment. Also, these status effects can be, oh wow, that's a really high roll. These status effects can be blocked by what we call the assist here. So this one, this means I have one assist. It actually goes, the meter rings goes left to right here and right to left here for some reason. Anyways, basically it blocks the leftmost action of, um, so if I had rolled a one, it would block that. Um, so here, I can actually do five, five in here, or six, five here use the stress and also get one dice to everyone by using five here and five here. And now he has like zero stress. I think that's worth it more than these options. Uh, yeah. As for this next one, so this one, this 18, which is a fairly big amount, um, you would expect to need four or five dice. No, you need each dice has a expected value three point five. So you need um, between five and six. If you do five times three point five, that's seventeen point five. So um, I would expect to need five or six. A specialist can a specialist is pretty good at handling big jobs, and you generally want to use her first especially since the doctor can heal things afterwards. Also make sure that um, since this is the orange thing represents the orange thing so represents injury, the blue thing that represents stasis that doesn't allow rerolls. Um, technically technically 
since this can possibly injure, I don't necessarily want my mechanic to head in here because he can quite possibly injure himself. But if he does head into here, he can't actually kill himself because one of the injuries would get blocked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the specialist first, I think. She might actually be able to resolve this fully by herself. Okay, so one of the injuries got blocked, but the second one, since I didn't have assist left over, um, this is perfectly on stasis. You can also put some of the die on hold so you don't have to re-roll those. So yeah, she has the specialist an extra re-roll. Generally you only have one. I think I will re-roll these. So this is six, four, ten. I could actually change this to become a three by using this repair module. So six, four, ten. I could this is actually eighteen possibly right now. But I think I'm just going to try a reroll. Oh wow, I got it. So it could be 6, 4, 5, 3 in here. And then I have a remaining 6. The remaining 6 I could put on the side here. Or I could put down here. I think I might want to put the remaining 6 down here. Or the remaining six, I could just give myself a die back. Six, six. Yeah. Those were some really high rolls. All right. Um. Man, is it actually worth it to regain die or just to stockpile? Because generally you can't stockpile things that are high in most instances. Regaining dice is also very good. Uh, yeah, even though it's kind of waste. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm not sure about that one. I'm gonna go ahead and go both of these guys into the um, into this module where this module is the greenhouse module, I can actually regain food using this module. This thing right here need, means I need to get three of a kind or two of a kind to actually gain one food. So I have two sixes here. Hopefully I can roll another six and that means I can get another food. Alright, so... That's one free food. I can get five and three down here. I could also have used the five to heal himself, heal herself one, but I'm really wanting to get to this extra food right here. So prioritize really getting back my dice. One and four again. I could, that's uh, I could put it down here and guarantee myself a regain food, but. I think I can be greedy for this extra food. Very good. And good. So I have two food right now. I could actually use this to harvest for an extra food. The extra food would be, let me think, how much food does the captain have? The captain has so I would definitely want two food for this one. The captain started fairly full, so the captain doesn't need a food. So I can wait for using harvest. Yeah, I can wait for that. I could also have used that last five. Yeah, I let my fear get the better of 
I could have used that six to repair, but I think food again is slightly more important. All right, minus one die, plus one die to all crew, which is pretty good, but minus two ship. Or uh, minus two ship is actually quite a lot since right now my ship only has three health. So that means I'm basically, I can't, um, I would need to resolve any new um, damages to the ship. But plus one die is actually really good. On the other hand, I can just gain one ship and it's 20% stress. So on this meter here, next time is going to be three events. Um, the green icon means that it's going to be an event that is between 10 to 15 on the on the die roll. Um, this is another 10 to 15. The red ones are 20, 20 and above, I think. So like I've seen up to like 30 something on these. So it's quite possible I won't be able to resolve this. So I can't afford to risk um, risk possibly having an event where it kills me instantly as much as I really would like that die. Alright, so food here. I, even though one food gives three die, I think it is worth it just to top off guys that are only at three. So I will give them. Alright, so right now I'm at four health on the ship. There's going to be four incoming damage, so I do need to resolve um, at least this one. This one itself is three um, damage for any low rolls, and that's kind of brutal. Um, what I can do here is actually resolve these two by taking damage going through this module and then resolving this later. The reason why you do that is because this thing might require more than one person and resolving two minor ones is slightly could be slightly more important. Um, so assuming I do take that one damage, the mech is gonna... How should I do this? Also going to this module right here. This last module is the maintenance module, and I can actually repair the ship a little bit while in here. I think I probably want the specialist to go in here. Minus one die to uh, one, two. So one of the things that you'll find out is the stasis effect on certain modules is not that bad because then you can put the low, um, if you have a lot of die, you can put the extra low ones at the in use for the module, for instance, stasis on a greenhouse is not that bad. Stasis on a life support is not bad. So if you like rolled, if you got like a stasis of two dice, on, if you had two dice that had stasis of two, you can put it to um, to good use on these modules right here. So I want my assist to actually help me deal with this module, where. Um, this module right here, the laboratory, which actually gives me more assist. But then again, I want the assist to help me and then for me to be able to use this module after the gaining the assist. So it could be where I layer it so that I do this one first and then try to do this one with my specialist second, having full assist, and then doing this one third. Alright, so who is okay to take one damage and have, has enough dice to resolve this through stasis possibly and also have enough to use, yeah I think she does. Yeah, I think she does. For the mechanic here. Mm. The mechanic here. Yeah, it's fine. The mechanic didn't have enough health, really. 
All right, these are some super high rolls. Okay, kind of wasted. So I can do a 6-4 in here and resolve it. Yeah, 6-4 in here, resolve. So I'm going to bank the 5 and reroll the 4-3. Hoping to get another assist. Okay. Um, so max out my assist here. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest food because I wouldn't be able to use these anyways. Alright, so now I'm going to have the specialist go ahead and try her luck here. Wow, I didn't get her at all. Holy shit. Alright, so this is actually perfect. 6-6, six, 4-4. Six, four, four. I really don't want to re roll those. I could do four. Actually, I can resolve this. Four, four, two, which is eight, and then use the duct tape. Or I can try to re roll and hope for a four, five, or six, which is 50% chance. If I get a three, I get one damage, but I wouldn't be able to. Uh, there's a 50% chance that I would just resolve this without wasting, without wasting it. 50% chance. Yeah, I need a 4, 5, or 6 right here. <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's kind of where the probability is you, it, it's really, really a lot of options for you to think about. Um, might as well use the mechanic here. I could also think about. I can also think about. Hmm. Yeah, the mechanic here goes first. Again, stasis here is not that bad. So, yeah, okay. So sure, let's resolve this thing. Six. I can use five. Repair twice. Five repair twice. I can use six one here. No, I think I'm gonna use five. Here I'm gonna burn an assist, but I'm probably gonna but you can cap out at three assists, so burning assist right here isn't that bad because you gain one assist every turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, hope for a three or higher. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to put six into here to gain two health back on my ship. Use the two down here on the duct tape. Alternatively, I could use six here, six here, and put the two. So that'll give me one extra, one extra research, one extra research. No, I think no, this has to be better. You do want to cycle through some of these lower projects because there's some really powerful ones that you want to reach. And powerful ones are like heal a module for like 20 something points. All right, so my captain has free reign to do any, whichever module he wants. I think I will move him to gain more food. Yeah. yeah. Again, food is kind of the most important thing, or food to get more dice is kind of the most important thing. 
right I have two ones here so that's one food I'll keep the six and this three is useless right now okay so six here regain one die personally and gain one food all right pretty good so Three percent stress or two assist. I maxed out on assist right now, so this is definitely just going to be. So on um, turn four or so, or um, you can actually start eating. There's the previously to the storyline um, at the start of the mission while your crew actually died, and you can actually eat. Again, you don't want to generally use cannibalism here unless you really have to, because the stress goes up which means your options um, between uh, event phases goes up or gets worse. Like some of the, some options like actually kill the crew member. So you don't want to get stuck in a situation where you basically are forced to kill one of your crew. And also it lowers the max health by one, which is not that big a deal. All right, that's it. All right, 14 here. Again, um, if you think about the turns, uh, first thing I think about is what I have to resolve. So pretty much this is more important, but I can resolve either one equally. Thinking about um, how you will use your assist. So. Do I want my assist to kind of block damage plus stasis here or block void? So this last, this one I haven't seen um, yet. Um, blocking void means if I roll four, I actually lose that dice. I do have a fair amount of dice to lose possibly. And, but, and it's quite likely that you might die from injury. But right now I have pretty full on health. I could I could move my captain into here. I can move two cre I can move two people into here resolving this. I think I will use uh, I will use my mechanic into into this. He has full dice and He's not going to die from this at all. So he could possibly die from this. And I do want to use um, the cyst to block the voids. Because if it's blocking a four, it means it's probably getting uh, lowered by quite a bit. Although if it's preventing a stasis of two, I guess that's also blocking. That, those are all below three. All right, so I burned up all my assist, but I do have enough perfectly. The question is whether or not I want to actually burn the five into this thing right here, Or I could have another person come to, into this room to help resolve this and gain more assists for injury prevention. For instance, I could actually have my captain come into this room and he kind of resolves the rest of this. The eight, the captain has four. And I can just be slightly greedy and have it go here. I think two is actually worth it to go in here instead of um, down there. Okay, so I'm gonna have the captain go into here. Hopefully, sh he can get more assists. Plus, give these guys um, give those guys back a dice. That's almost perfect, I think. Yep, six. Um, I can put the five here. No, I want more assist. 
in case I injure myself down there. So I'm gonna reroll the one. Hopefully get a two or a five here. Get another one. So since I can't use the one, place it down here, I could possibly use one of these. Some of my characters have pretty low stress anyways right now. But I think this is fine. Alright, definitely use this one. And it's pretty unlikely that I'm gonna have a tough that I would have died here. But I mean I have died from rolling triples of something where there was one injury possibility and I rolled five of them. So kind of mitigate your worst case scenarios. Um, the side effect of this uh, module is to is to actually lower stress. So although, yeah, no way I'm going to die if I roll a lot of fives here. So I think I'm going to have the doctor move here. And the specialist try to go for the go for the food module afterwards. Wow, the cis using up on stasis is actually really bad. All right. If I rerolled everything, I actually have a chance of dying. Three, three, four, one and one. I just need four from these. Wow. <laughs> mm. That's pretty unlikely, but so I'm gonna have to bring in um, my last crew member into this thing, and she's so. What do I want? I think I actually do want to just bank one of these. I could actually cycle through these and store another one because a one is just so bad. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to store one. Or she's gonna have four dice that she's rolling this thing. So how many do I want her to probably get to seven with the four dice? And I'm gonna go ahead and snack here. Cap her off. And then use the one there. Alright. Hopefully she doesn't die from this. Uh, shouldn't be able to die. Yeah. Okay, so at least I didn't burn my last stasis. Uh, I can do 6-2 in here, repair that. Use 6-2, to de-stress, and 2 to bring down. Yeah, I would have to use 2 for this thing anyway, so 6-2 is fine. Um, I do think it's worth it to just use six, six to one die to remove like 30% stress. And I think that's good. That was kind of sucky. I, I wish I could finish this thing off with a doctor. Those were some pretty poor rolls. One health to all crew, minus one die. One food at the cost of one ship. Uh, the ship is pretty good. I probably. Just want to use this one. And go ahead and use the food on him. Alright, here it's going to be the 
So this thing means if I roll any one, I'm going to take two damage from it. So these are actually kind of the most dangerous ones. Um, because you can roll like just three ones and just instantly die from six health. So using assists on these is actually super important. Just mitigating your worst case scenario. If I do mitigate it, so I could still die using either of these guys in here. Because I roll full, if I roll like four ones. So I block two ones, so if I roll a third one, um, I die using the mechanic. I sort of want to use a high health person for this thing first. So if I go here, I lose one health. So I'm down to four. So I can roll, if I roll three ones, possibly I go down if I roll three with ones I go down to a two I could also try to resolve this one first but then I would just kill off my assist if I resolve this one first um, rolling three ones is again pretty unlikely but again considering the rerolls it's not all that unlikely so I could roll to four ones Losing one health. I can also try to resolve this and hope that I resolve this without actually without actually burning a burning a status an assist. In that case she can move without getting hurt. I think this deployment is fine though. Two. Yeah. Sweet. So this is five, six. This is 15 right here. So I could just not roll something else, just be satisfied with my 20 and have someone else come in here and hope they don't kill themselves. I would just need six. Yeah, that's fine. So if the captain goes in here, he can't possibly kill himself. He can roll no, if he rolls all four ones, he does kill himself. But again, that's pretty unlikely. Yeah. Anyone else going into here is a risk. Okay. Six. Done. Actually, I think this is fine. Two food. Getting one food back and gaining two dice on both these guys. That's perfect. Um, so let's resolve this last one here. She has most stress, so her going this one is probably, hopefully I can get use of this thing as well. Four, ooh, four, six, four. Or actually, this is enough to resolve this thing. Six, four, six. Two fours, though. I don't really want fours. I want fives. So I think I'll reroll these and hope for something better. And since stasis, uh, stasis can get burned if I if I do that, possibly. All right. Wow, that's really good. So one is going to definitely be used to reduce my stress. I can gain one health back or I can use it to 
Um, I can use it down here. I don't know that I care for gaining health back versus just banking it. All right, mechanic. I think for him, he's gonna try to fully heal himself. So he's gonna go into this one right here. I'm actually gonna probably use supplements for my extra dice. So six can go to repairing the ship one, F five can go here, and two, three, four can go down here after I uh, two, four can go down here after I feed up. So that was wasted one because one of my dudes still had, uh, one of my dudes still had a full die. So, um, all right, five weeks to Mars, no movement, plus one to ship, minus one health for two dudes, no movement damage, but taking one damage in health. This next one is actually going to be a hard one, so I want all my, I want all my dice to handle that, but losing one dice, or gaining one ship and losing one health. One health on her is not that bad. One health on her is slightly worse. Yeah, this is definitely still a lot better. And yeah, I'm full up here. All right, um, I'm, I'm gonna pause it for there. Uh, I'll finish the run on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys then, bye.